Imagine with me. I am shipwrecked, floating in a cold ocean alone. Each time I float up on a swell, I see nothing but water in all four directions. Cold, frigid water. My only concern is connecting with a source of energy to keep me alive. Life is tenuous and death is imminent. Now come back with me here and now. Every moment of our lives revolves around the conversion and use of energy. Life is blooming and death far away. Help me search with you to better understand the energy in our lives. We are energy, and energy is all around us. As I speak, the sound energy from my voice enters your ears and creates vibration energy. This vibration energy is then translated into electrical and chemical changes in your brain, which you interpret as speech. The evolution of man has included increasing use of energy from the dawn of our species through today. Society is absolutely dependent on energy flowing reliably and cost-effectively to customers. Energy is all around us. We can see light energy. We can hear sound energy. And we can feel heat energy. And we use many forms of invisible energy, such as infrared light used in remote control devices. Other forms of invisible energy are radio waves used for cell phone communications. And even the radio waves from all over the world passing through the room you are in. Electrical energy is also invisible, reducing the physical work required to survive and grow. Improving our understanding of the energy world around us is critical to our personal success and the evolution of our species. In the next seven minutes, I invite you to explore one key area, transforming energy from one form to another. Let's consider what it means to transform energy. Any form of energy can be transformed or converted to any other form. In industrial societies, electricity is the preferred and dominates the energy supply for the human species. Electricity is always produced by converting some other form of energy into electricity. The most common method of converting energy into electricity is to burn fuel to boil water and use the steam produced by the boiling water to spin a turbine. This pinwheel is a turbine. We can spin this turbine with air, water, steam, or other energy sources. Here is this turbine spinning as air is blown into it. This is an illustration of a wind-powered turbine. If this turbine was connected to the shaft of a generator, the air movement would be converted into electricity. Now we can see the same turbine spinning from the weight of falling water. When water falls through a turbine and spins a generator, we call the energy hydropower. Natural gas expands as it burns and the hot gases can be used to drive a turbine. The burning of natural gas to produce electricity represents a large, fast-growing source of new electricity in the U.S. Any fire can be used to boil water and produce steam. This turbine is spinning as natural gas is burned on the stovetop to boil water. The steam is then turning the turbine. Now that you know the fundamental methods for spinning turbines, you can easily understand a few models for large-scale power plants. In a large hydropower plant, water under the pressure of a lake behind the dam flows through a large pipe into the turbine, turning the generator. Natural gas and air are burned here to create electricity. The yellow flame acts on the red turbine to spin the turbine, which spins the generator. Power from the red colored turbine is also used to compress air, using the blue colored compressor blades. The air is compressed to allow a large amount of high-pressure natural gas to be burned. Look at the heat from a fire producing steam to spin a turbine. The turbine is connected to a generator. 
and the energy in the fire is converted to electricity by the generator. About 30% of the energy used in the U.S. in 2017 was produced by burning coal to produce steam to spin turbines. This large power plant used coal to produce electricity. 1,000 tons of coal per hour were converted into electricity. Another source of energy used to boil water to spin turbines is heat from nuclear reactions. About 20% of electrical energy in the U.S. was produced in 2017 using steam to turn turbines at nuclear power plants. When we look at electrical energy used in the United States in 2017, almost all of the energy used, more than 98%, was produced by spinning turbines using the flow of steam, or the flow of water, or the flow of burning natural gas to spin the turbines. In 2017, about 1.2% of the energy we used was produced by direct conversion of energy from the sun without spinning a turbine. These photovoltaic power plants produce energy during daylight hours when the sun is shining. Our discussion so far builds awareness of energy flows which affect individuals and society. Understanding the conversion of energy into different forms is key to understanding human cultural evolution. The challenges we face as a species will revolve around energy decisions. This series will build on your fundamental knowledge of energy to identify these challenges and potential action.